Okay. I'm reading this. I should have 0.35 ohms if I test the coil. And then on the wires themselves, on the co or taking the wire off, I can test the coil. And it says it should be between 1200 and 1600 ohms. Okay. One, I go to pull it apart, and one of the wires doesn't want to come off. Of course, it breaks, but I find it looks a lot, you know, of course. If you can see the corrosion on there and whatnot, it wouldn't come off. So, we'll put it at 200 ohms to test the tabs. As I stated before, I was told, the shown point three. Shows a 0.5 there. Now to test in the wires, one of the caps, as you can see, is very brittle and it broke off very easily, but it was very clean. You can see where I scratched off the other one, but it's very hard to see. That one was very dirty and corroded on the inside. Now touching the center coil, center coil, even on 200, or I mean on 2000, it'll hit a little bit, and then it flashes right back off. You can see it's very intermittent. I can't, it won't hold the reading, I'm not sure it's supposed to, but everything else it does, but see every time I hit it, it's a different reading. That's how we get it zeros out on 2,000. You see it's, it jumps back and forth. Now we'll try that same test, I don't know if it make a difference or not. 200 it doesn't even register it okay let me know what you think I definitely need to buy a couple of spark plug wires at this point and I'm wondering if now if I need to get a coil too